and welcome to our mindfulness challenge would you believe it day 40 it's been a pleasure to be here we've done it all different times of the day we've spoke about numerous things about mindfulness and for me all I want these little daily videos to be is just a reminder a little jig of our consciousness to try and get us through the day in a way that is more conducive to our own development conducive big word for today but what it's talking about really is the ability for us to be able to and again I keep saying it because it is a reminder for us to be able to separate our mental narrative about any situation because we know as we build our mindfulness it gets easier but we still layer things on top of another on top of another on top of another on top of another for us to really wind ourselves up about a situation that's around us at the moment. Now, a lot of those situations are situational. So they're experiences that we are experiencing at this set moment in time. And then we layer it with our mental chatter, our mental narrative or whatever else. We now understand that we have the ability to separate our minds from the situation and actually think to yourself, I can hold that thought, that emotion, that fear, the anxiety. I can turn and face it and I can hold it with loving kindness and breathe through it and watch it dissolve, which is great. But what about forgiveness for others? What about you forgiving somebody who in the past has done some things that were not nice, that weren't loving, that weren't kind, that were, let's just say, not on the same value systems as you or I do. And what this is all about is helping you to help forgive people, to be able to clear away some of the shadow elements that we talk about in terms of traumas or experiences that we've had in our lives. And the ability to be able to forgive may seem really daunting for some people based on the experience or trauma that was, you know, done to you or given to you at any one stage. The meditation we're going to do today is a forgiveness meditation. It's about forgiving people and the instances of the past and some of you may think it's very difficult and maybe it is based on the severity of the level of wrongdoing. But today we're going to try and make it a bit easier. We're going to try and forgive those in our lives who have done things that we didn't like. So that we can stop holding any negative energy or holding any grudges or anything like that to allow us to move forward. Because you see... If somebody's wronged us all those years ago, the actual experience and instance was momentarily in that situation. But the true pain is either A, us not dealing with it, or B, carrying it with us for such a long time. And today, we're going to let it all go. So as always, please get yourself into a comfortable position. I'll bring up a picture. <coughs> I'll have a cough, I'll get myself comfortable. And today I want you just to allow yourself to get into relaxation. And relaxation is what's needed in order for you to change things in your life and the things that you desire. And complete relaxation is always, I believe, impossible when we hold grudges or push emotions and traumas away. Sometimes, and I understand, it's hard to even imagine forgiving those who have wronged you. But this is a necessary step in the progression of our personal achievement. So let's start by saying, I'm ready to take the next steps necessary to becoming the best version of myself. And repeat that in your mind. I'm ready to take the next steps necessary toward becoming the 
the best version of myself. And as I said, it may seem daunting to forgive people and the instances of your past that still hurt you today. But I believe it's actually very easy. We need to take a deep breath in. And as you do, I want you to hold it and breathe out and let it go. And you feel yourself becoming very relaxed, very comfortable, very trusting, and very open your mind to the power of suggestion and the power of meditation. Breathing in, holding it and breathing out. I want you to imagine a young child holding a glass of milk. Bring it to your mind's eye. And their small hands couldn't quite grasp the cup fully. And the milk spills on the floor. And the glass drops and it breaks. This upsets you because the milk isn't cheap, it's expensive. And the cup was a family heirloom. It's been in the family for generations. Say this upsets you very, very much and you show anger and you hold a small grudge against this child for breaking this glass that's been in the, in the family for generations. Now when you gave the child a glass of milk, you will not trust him to hold it and anxiety will become present in the child because now they don't feel trusted. And anxiety will also build in you because you fear more things will be broken or spilled. Can you give this child another glass of milk? And because of that, the child may actually become more likely to drop things. Because that is the image you're manifesting within them. And you're also going to harbour anxiety because you were unable to let go of the incident. And it's a recurring thought each time they need to use a cup. I want you to imagine again the same child holding a glass of milk. And their small hands quiver and they drop the cup, breaking it and spilling the milk everywhere. But this time, you're not so upset. Instead, you help him and you forgive them. The child runs to grab you a broom and a towel to clean up the mess. And they help you fix in this small accident, this mishap. They sense in your kindness and they learn how to take action when something goes wrong. When they feel guilty for the circumstance, the ability to help is halted. The child is then likely to understand how to address incoming issues because everyone was calm, relaxed and in a state of pre-forgiveness. They feel trusted and they can trust you to help when mistakes happen. That's what we need to accomplish in order to create a more peaceful world for everyone. The ability to pre-forgive each other, to allow a state of openness so that we can address issues that arise with calm and relaxed outlook. And this will aid in, you know, the rep uh, through repair and the ability to move forward and trust others. And let's do some relaxation techniques that will open us up into the state of forgiveness. Notice how your body feels right now. Notice any places that are pleasant. Notice any areas where you feel joy. It could be the small tip of your nose or a much bigger area. Just feel these as sensations of goodness and allow them to expand. Perhaps these areas of nice sensations can communicate. Uh, 
Imagine these nice sensations can communicate with those places in your body that feel stuck. Just imagine now and observe how your body reacts when you allow your pleasant feelings to communicate with your stuck ones. Do the nice sensations hold a grudge against the areas of not so nice sensations? No. They simply hold space and communicate with openness of how to let go. Allow for more pleasant feelings to enter your body now through the power of your breath. Breathe in and consciously knowing that with each inhale you oxygenate your system and send goodness through your entirety. And again inhale goodness and exhale into a more relaxed state. Inhale supportive sensations and exhale into relaxation. Inhale deeply the force of good and exhale into relaxation. I want you to continue this method now for five more breaths. Inhale the force of good and exhale into relaxation. Inhale deeply the force of good and exhale into relaxation. Inhale deeply the force of good and exhale into relaxation. Feel when you breathe in the deep force of good and when you exhale the relaxation. And finally one more time inhaling the force of good and exhaling into relaxation. And just feel how easy this is coming to you. You see, you are a natural communicator. You are a natural at communicating within these areas of tension, thus changing the very structure and frequency and converting them into a relaxed state. And you're doing this very, very well. And I want us to continue now with our newfound relaxed state. And take us to a place of forgiveness. This is a very important opportunity. It will aid in you progressing towards personal achievement in all aspects of your life. So visualise you're in a beautiful garden on a mild day. With fluffy cows rolling by in the sky and the sun periodically warming your skin and nourishing the plants in the garden. And as you admire the beauty here, the way the leaves of the vegetation are just caressed by the wind. There are many colours of flowers throughout the garden and their fragrance is so beautiful, so sweet and so welcoming. And as you look down, you see a small footpath through some of the flowering shrubs and it's an inviting and mysterious path. And I want you to go down this way. And as you curve around the beauty of this garden, you inhale the fresh oxygen that these plants produce. You feel very pleasant and extremely relaxed. As you round a corner, a small bench made of wood comes into view. And you see the person you most need to forgive is sitting there. They've been waiting for you. Because this is a very important encounter. You sit beside them because this space and place is very space, safe. And there are some things that do need to be said to this person. And with bravery and courage, look into their eyes directly and say, You hurt me. And I suffered for too long because of this burden I carry in the form of a grudge towards you. You say, I forgive you. I forgive you not to help you, but to better myself. 
I forgive you and you will not enter my thoughts any longer. And I forgive you because forgiveness leads to an openness of my heart and all aspects of my life. You notice the darkness that once was in their eyes begin to lighten. And for a while they do not say a word. And then the silence is broken. They simply say to you, I will leave you alone now. And you will not be tormented by the thought of me anymore. They get up from the beautiful wooden bench and walk into the depths of a nearby wooden forest. You watch as their figure grows smaller into the distance until you no longer see them. Never once did they turn and never once did they look back your way. And this was a very important meeting today in this beautiful garden. And as you breathe in the new fresh air, you feel twice as light as you did before. That's because a huge weight has been lifted off your shoulders. And the person you needed to forgive is no longer sitting with you in the secret garden. They've moved on. And more importantly, so have you. Remember that this garden is a place you can go to meet anybody who's hurt you over the years. To be able to turn and face them and allow those grudges, allow the anguish, allow the pain to disappear. And they too will walk away as they now serve you no purpose. And you're new, lighter, brighter, and more rounded and grounded life. And when you rise from this meditation at your own pace, you will notice that you are eager and ready to take the next steps needed towards your own goals and your own personal achievement with no extra baggage. Take a deep breath in, open your eyes and come back into the room. It's a very powerful meditation and it's a meditation probably that we could only do after day 40 because we've been on this journey now for 40 days and 40 nights sounds like a biblical comment but it's true and like the bible like many things today is a day if you've been held back by the wrongdoing or the power or the grudge or the hurt of somebody or some people or some things well, today's the day you can let it all go. Today, the day is when your personal development can really start to amplify. Because if we're carrying the baggages of the past, it's very difficult to run to the future. And that's where we are. God bless you. And remember, couldn't do it last one because you would have been asleep. Put your hand on your heart and say, good morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. And for my friends in South Africa, Mariska and Shulk. Shulk, you meant to say your name, not my name. Good morning, Shulk. I love you. Good morning, Shulk. I love you. Two very special people in my life that I've never met, but I've spent a lot of time with. And I know all the hard and work and dedication that Shulk does for those people. He's a frontline worker. So God bless you, my friend. Well done. Keep doing what you're doing. And by, on behalf of all of my friends in South Africa, and all over the world. Well done, my friend. Be love and give love. See you on day 41. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.